What's going on everyone? I am so thrilled to share with you our house. It is finally move in day. But please, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe and hit that like button so you can follow our life here in Kansas. So on the same day as move in day, we actually had the pods drop off our container. And if you are curious at all of how their services work, please uh, stay tuned and subscribe because I will be reviewing their company soon. So this is the front of our house. We picked the door and as you come in, you see these switches and they're actually Wi-Fi switches. Please don't ask me what they do. I'm pretty sure they connect to somewhere. It's my husband's thing and he's really techy and I'm so glad he is because I'm not. So anyways, when you turn uh, towards the right, the rooms um, are over there. This is the first room, which is a guest room. I will be making it my praise and music room. And um, the only addition here is these doors and these doors it pops open i like it like that i never like the accordion doors if you know what i'm saying but yes i'm loving these doors so as you go into the right it is the bathroom the guest bathroom it will be my son's bathroom and it's actually turned out great if you saw my previous uh reviews i showed you how it looked like before the counter was also wrong for the space but i am loving this white quartz counter top that we cho chose for this bathroom in my son's bedroom it's the same we didn't really add anything from last time this is his walk-in closet i think it's a great space for him he better not complain he's so blessed as we turn around we go into the kitchen i love this space so much i'm so glad that this space turned out fine because i'm gonna be spending a lot of time in this kitchen we chose ge appliances for the whole house and this stove is actually serving me really well the dishwasher i'm a little bit sketchy about i'll let you know soon and this is the fridge that we chose and it's just a regular fridge nothing fancy We've had the Samsung with the TV before, we hated it. But this is the microwave, again, nothing fancy. Um, yeah, I'm loving, I'm loving the tiles, I'm loving how it feels, and I feel like I have a little bit more space than what I thought I was gonna have originally. This is the living room. The tiles, I love, love, love. I think it went well with the color of the house and the stain of the wood. It looks uh, old and it looks antique -y. and this is the fireplace it's a gas fireplace you just turn a switch on and it turns on I've never had this before so it's so cool for us I love it uh, this is the bench with the shelving and this is our view so far nothing really to look at the houses on towards the right are actually model homes and I like it because that means nobody can really peek into here because nobody lives there yet but they're building there now and this space right here will remain empty until forever so yeah this this space is gonna be really really empty so we'll have a view of the horizon well there's the hubby working on the nest and like I said he's really techy and I'm so glad he is because I don't understand a lot of the things on my phone so I just call him every time I need help. So here's some goodies that we actually received from our realtor and our builder and they were both awesome to work with. We would work with them again. We've had nothing but good things to say about both of them. Here's going into the pantry. It is an awkward layout. It's around the corner from the kitchen. But hey, it's actually more than I've had before. And I went ahead and organized this. I have it on my video. Check it out on my channel. So into the master's bedroom we go. And this accent wall is to die for, in my opinion anyways. I get a lot of my inspiration. Like everybody else, I go on Pinterest. So I am in love with this fan. It's called Gun Metal. Whether you like it or not, let me know on the comments below, okay? Here is my custom linen cabinet. I love how you can just roll up towels and stick it in there. 
Here's the master bathroom. I've said it before on my past video that the backsplash was too busy for the space. But I do love how the tiles turned out right here and we added the sliding door as you can see black on black and white. It is really really nice. So yeah, let me know in the comments below how you feel about the space. But yeah, nothing different in my walk-in closet. Everything's the same. Uh, we did add these lights right here and we bought them from Ikea super cheap. This is the laundry room and again we got GE appliances washer and dryer. So actually I've been using this washer and dryer combo. It's pretty good. The only thing I want to complain about is how deep this is. I'm 5'3 and I'm tiptoeing here and I cannot reach the bottom but maybe this means hubby will have to do all the laundry in my dreams. This is our mud bench and right now it's been our catch-all for everything and to its left is the door to the garage. Here's our garage, nothing fancy. It's just full of our stuff all the way from California that we have unloaded from our pods. Going down to the basement, let's go ahead and check it out. The only addition we did is that we pick this carpet. We spent a little bit more money just because we wanted to pick something that was sturdy that could handle the wear and tear of everyday life. So this is the stairs landing and this is actually our view from our basement from all the windows. It is a view out basement meaning half of the basement is above ground and half of it is below ground. So this is the view of the whole basement from the stairs. Around the corner is my son's cubby under the stairs. No, he's not Harry Potter. But here's the wet bar and yes, we're just waiting on buying a fridge for this space. Around the corner to it is our gym. We've finally gotten our mirrors in. It looks wonderful. I could have gotten bigger, but hey, you know what? It looks great. So again, this is what a view out basement looks like. You can still see outside, not too bad. And this is one of the storage rooms in the basement and it's where the water heater is stored and the humidifier as well. Finally, we have the guest bathroom and the guest bedroom down in the basement. The guest bathroom looks exactly the same as the one upstairs. And what I'm loving about this space is the black hardwares as you see. But hey, let me show you this. How many times have you changed your toilet paper and thought it's so annoying? Look at this one. You just basically pop it up, pop your toilet paper, and there you go. It's done, right? Guest bedroom downstairs is just as big as my room upstairs. And again, the walk-in closet down here, much bigger than mine. Why is that? We did add track lighting to this room. But hey, this is the whole basement right here. This is probably where we're gonna be hanging out most of the time. And I can't wait to make memories with my boys. Anyways, I am so excited that I was able to share that with you. And I can't wait to start sharing my whole life with everyone. So please subscribe so I can see you weekly. And have a good day. Be safe, everyone. Bye-bye.